That also goes to show you that competition breeds the best product. <laughs> Are you good, man? Did you water? Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is the Fun Bros here. We're here with Linda Dew. We are on a special food crawl around LA, and we are rolling around in the brand new Toyota Corolla XSE with Linda D. I'm yeah. super excited to eat, guys. Yo, we are going to all different parts of LA. We are going from the 626, then we're going out west side, and then we're going to Hollywood, and then we're going to end in K-Town. First stop is Huge Tree Yo, Pastry. Yo, Huge Tree is crazy because I was just thinking about it in my head. How the, huge it is. The lady, you know, we've been coming here for 17 years. Eat Come on in, guys. Come on. Let's Let me get some fun. Come on. I just had a realization that I've been coming here for 20 years. My cousins all grew up in Monterey Park. When I would come to California and visit them, we would come here. They are quite dry. They don't have, they're not chock full of butter, you know, kind of like the more Western style is. This is like butter free all the Got there. I got the fawn tuan and I'm feeling this fawn tuan right now. It's like a sushi roll basically. It's like rice and then you put some donuts in there and eggs. I'm, I'm, I'm messing with Yo, this fawn tuan. This is, this is my favorite though and you know the funny thing is when we shot our huge tree pastry video the Don Bing did not make it in. The Don Bing could go mainstream. Yeah. I, I think they got to dress it up a little bit more. Personally I think they got to add some color to it but uh, I think so. The breakfast shaolin bows they're not as meaty. That's how you eat it. You pick it with your hands. Take a little bite like a little apple. Like a big grape almost. I would use my fingers to mimic chopsticks, so I'm still eating it like a regular shallow. By the way, you could not do this with a non breakfast shallow bow yeah. that was fresh. Eat it like a chocolate, you know. Put this one in there. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Now, there yeah. we go. You know, for the camera, I will have to give you guys a bite <laughs> of this Neuro Shaobing. Neuro Shaobing, this is a Shaobing. Shaobing, Neuro. You might need water after that. <laughs> We got the guabao, the classic guabao, aka the guabi. A lot of people call it like the Chinese hamburger or something like that. It's kind of like a hamburger taco. It's tough to really draw a complete comparison to it, but it's good either way. Yo! I'll show you that competition breeds the best product. <laughs> Are you good, man? Did you water? We got a weapon here. <laughs> we got a donut. Fresh, freshly uh, made. And this is the Asian version of an Oreo. <laughs> oh, who gets more? Oh, it I splits do. exactly in half. Yo, it's like a cat. Yo, one of my favorite things to eat with this though, Kanji. jam. Oh, jam. Jam. Nani? That was a huge Taiwanese breakfast to start yeah. off with, but we are going from Monterey Park, and we are going all the way to the west side to Sawtell for our next spot, which is Korean Super. This new Toyota Corolla has a really smooth ride. So smooth, we're in stop and go traffic, and Linda is asleep. The brakes are very smooth, that's why. I... All right, man, we got the food here. Oh Looking super colorful. David, first of all, I think you gotta go off with the rock and roll bow. You have uni in the middle, you have different types of roll here. No, Side. this is a striking dish. Whipping it like a stir fry. Then we're Whipping dancing in the night time. Chicken pot pie. Girls in the night time. Oh, I thought it was really light. It's nice, it has like a, they almost feel like they're like bursting in your mouth, you know, mm -hmm. like little popping bobas or something mm -hmm. like that. Drop tap Porsche, roll your lures. Diamonds and up and cheese. Oh <laughs> man, got rice my freezer. No, you have Shit. some poutine sauce. Oh man, try to be all cool. Beep and bop on me. Beep and bop on me. My people with Korean people together. Look at all that. Look, you have the purple cabbage, you have sprouts, you have cucumber carrots. When Korean and Vietnamese people mix, you gotta beep and bun me. Oh. Damn. A Chinese person eating a Korean and Vietnamese dish. Yo, it can't get any more, more much color than that. You're taking pickled uh, Korean vegetables, you're taking pickled Vietnamese vegetables, and you're putting in a sandwich together. Man, that is fresh. I it's like, like that. It's like a garden. Here you have the Korean barbecue dip. So here you have a uh, so really soft poached egg 
in with uh, soy sauce or vinegar, and you mix in the egg yolk to dip the sandwich in. That's These interesting. are Korean poutine fries. What do you think about the poutine? It's different. Um, Justin Trudeau approved. Justin Trudeau would get messy with this. Yeah, exactly. And then this is the spicy chicken. Yo, I did not get a chance to try the spicy chicken yet. Isn't that good? That's really good. And then the drinks too. Ooh, pink drink that Andrew got that I will hold. Yellow for the skin. Yellow skin. Yellow for the sunshine. The next spot is a very, very famous Thai restaurant. Let's go. So we have arrived in Silver Lake at our final hot food spot. This is just a gigantic Thai chicken sandwich and they kind of merged it with a papaya salad. Just the chicken thigh is gigantic. Yo, that was a big piece of chicken. This is the Thai crispy rice salad. I've never had anything like this. It was really spicy too, but actually really refreshing at the same time. Did this packed a punch? It was yeah. spicy. What do, you, what do you think it was? It's just those red Thai chilies, man. Yeah, this is the pad thai as well. They put in the spice and they had the seeds in it. The seeds is what makes it super hot. It's gonna squeeze some lime on top. This pad thai had the right amount of sweetness and citrusness. To me, that was in between a pad thai and a pad sea. It's wow. like sweet and savory at the same time. Probably. This is the pork toro. This is like the fatty part of the pig neck. I'm not gonna lie, I already had like five pieces of this, but I'm gonna go have another one. Pig neck. That is one of my absolute favorite Thai dishes. Very much similar to like Korean barbecue, the sangyeopso, like the pork belly, but it's the pork neck. Grill marks. If you guys like Thai food and you're in LA, you definitely gotta check out Night Plus Market Song. The flavors are kicking, yeah. Linda's wildin' now. We have made it to our last stop. Yes. Uh, we are at Bum San. It's a pink building on Western in K-Town. And as you know in LA, anything that's painted pink is lit. You wanna pick up a girl stand here because she'll definitely be taking some IG photos. Wow, let's go yeah, get, get it, it. let's go get it. it. Bum San. We have some beautiful ice cream. Hey, what nice. do you have? You have you have chocolate and vanilla. Chocolate and vanilla. This is a dragon fruit lychee slash taro. Oh, let me tell, let me get that one. Yeah, you try. No, this I, one. Didn't, I didn't get to try this one. I didn't try the green tea. Shout out to Bun Sam and shout out. Bun Sam. Yeah. Whoa, that's actually yo. Told you that's, that's really good. good. Yo, the dragon fruit lychee taro. That's fire. The wall is pink. This ice cream is pink. You're in K. Get it. Get it. That's get it, it, you guys. This is actually my favorite ice cream. I think this is actually really good. Bun San had the dragon fruit lychee taro mix first. That was an epic LA food crawl. All of this food was Instagrammable. All of it was tasty. Huge shout out to Toyota. Check out the 2018 Corolla. That is an amazing car in its class. Mm. Okay, going on a food crawl, it's, it's like, yeah. it's a lot of time, but going in a nice yeah. car, it actually like helps with the process. Fung Bros plus Lena D. And until next time, we out. Peace. Oh, grease lightning. Grease lightning. Go, grease lightning. All right.